Nina is an excellent mother, a journalist, also excels in her work. She works as a journalist, but her marriage causes her stress. The publishing company where her husband Machek works keeps him very busy. There is no equality in the marriage when it comes to raising the daughters, they have two, despite the fact that they have two daughters. Always willing to make concessions is Nina. In agreement with her, is Nina's father. Nina defends her spouse in spite of knowing this. Her mother, who considers Nina fortunate to have a spouse like Machek, and Nina have a love-hate relationship. There are unresolved concerns between the mother and daughter, but they aren't explored in depth throughout the film. When Nina discovers Yannick working there, she is shocked. As a new hire, Yannick. She was once in love with him, and it is obvious that they are still together. Their separation was brought on by Nina and Yannick's age difference. Yannick was concerned that Nina's age might lead to issues because she was older than he was. She named her two daughters Zuzia and Lena, which surprises Yannick when he learns that she has two daughters. The same name they had selected for their children to be given back when they were dating. Yannick tries very hard to win her admiration after this rekindles his feelings for her. Machek intends to journey to Iceland by himself. In addition to caring for the kids, Nina is a successful professional. Everything is properly balanced by her. She is upset with Machek for leaving her alone with the kids, though. Now that she needs to go to work as well, she is the only one responsible for caring for the children. She fights with Machek because this irritates her. But, this does not alter his choice to embark on that hiking expedition. He abandons her to be alone herself with the children and doesn't even feel bad about it. He appears to be overjoyed to be by himself. Nina will have a difficult time controlling the children and concentrating on her work throughout the coming days. Nina receives a call informing her that her daughter is ill just as they were ready to take a break. When she returns home, she discovers that Machek has taken every medication with him. When Machek receives her call, he treats her poorly. She requests Yannick's assistance. He comes at Nina's house with all the pills. In addition, once the kids have gone to bed, he brings over some food for Nina and himself to enjoy. Yet Nina is so exhausted that she chooses to sleep close to Zuzia. Together with the food, he also leaves her a sweet message. Yannick begins to frequently stop by Nina's house and gets along well with her girls. When she begins developing an intimate relationship with him, their love affair intensifies and becomes hot and heavy. She even considers separating from her husband for him, but her mother reaffirms the importance of family and the fact that her daughters should come first. Yet, her father urges her to make the correct decision because her girls won't be content if their parents are unhappy and unable to end their unhappy marriage. She makes the decision to leave her spouse and go live with Yannick. Machek is talking on the phone while the two of them are making love. He most likely dialed his number out of his pocket. At first, he can only hear noises, but he gradually picks in on all of the conversation between Nina and Yannick. Later, after giving her a call, Machek confronts her about this. He inquires as to the identity of her mistress. She hangs up on him after assuming it's Yannick. She explains to Yannick that she must go to Iceland and meet Machek since she is unable to do this. She is anxious to solve this. She is already planning to leave Machek, so this is absurd. Anyway, she gets a phone call while she is driving to see him letting her know that Machek is in the hospital. During the hike, Machek attempts to assist a fallen guy but instead falls into a pit and becomes trapped. Nina is at the hospital hoping her husband may awaken while he is currently unconscious. When Yannick contacts her, he wants to know when she will return. Yannick makes an effort to persuade Nina, but she refuses. Her resolve to be with her spouse is unwavering, and she hangs up the phone. When Yannick visits her at the hospital, he promises to back off so that they can work on mending their relationship. They are both devastated to learn that Machek cannot feel anything and cannot move his body when he finally wakes up. 
while he is paralyzed, he can speak. The film ends after Nina promises that things will improve.